Mr. President, are you confident that the discussions went well today at the UN? Yeah, sure. Are you looking forward to President Biden's address? Uh, not really, but we're going we're gonna to ask for the video and see it later. Why do you think that the American administration is perceived in that way? You're saying you're not sure if you're, you know, excited about President Biden's address. Why not? Well, it's not, not about President Biden. It's just, you know, the format of the United Nations is a little boring. Really, really nobody, not much people is paying attention. So it's not, it's not about President Biden. It's just that it's a really boring format. But, you know, we have to come and do our, our, our job. What do you think should come out of these discussions? Do you think any peace would be made in Russia and Ukraine? No, I don't think so. No. I think it's just, you know, just a hundred presidents talking, everyone said everyone saying what they want, at the end it will come out probably to nothing. And finally, Mr. President, do you think that President Putin will will change his course? Do you think that there will be peace? Well it has to eventually. But I don't know when, but it should be. I mean, we all want peace and, and I would hope that, that eventually, the faster the better, they, would get, they, they, they can find peace in Ukraine. And I, I don't know what's, what's going on in, in President Putin's mind, of course. And I guess one more domestically, uh, former President Trump might consider a run in 2024. Yeah, yeah. If he warns, would you support him? Well, I, I, you know, I'm, not, I'm, not a, I'm not from U.S. citizen, so I'm not allowed to support any president. Mm -hmm. We will work with any U.S. president, either it's, you know, right now it's President Biden, when it was President Trump, we worked very well with him. So we will work with any U.S. president. It's up to the people from the United States to elect their leaders. On the migrant issue, a lot of people are really concerned about that. People yes, going e everywhere. What do you think should be done humanitarianly to support immigrants? Well, I, I really think that we have to work so that people, so people stay in our, in, 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 in our countries. I mean, we don't want our talent to flee, and, so, and if the U.S. doesn't want any more people flooding their, 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 their cities. I really think that the best way to work for everyone is to uh, make the conditions so people can stay at their home. I mean, we don't want our people to go elsewhere. And needless to say, forced to be to go elsewhere by violence, or by crime, by gangs. So you know, it's it's there's good migration, is bad migration. I think bad migration is affecting us all. Thank you, okay. Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. President.